Hello, welcome to Alison Tech. This screencast is just to show you how our dialer widget works with external CRM. So when I say dialer widget, uh, I meant by the whole dialer functionality into one small widget. So the thing you see right now on the top which says access dialer is our basically our widget. And the thing you see here is the whole CRM. Now the phone support is one of the top international call center and they are our client. So we have provided them uh, our uh, dialer widget basically. Um, right, so right. the one more thing or the, the benefit of dialer widget is that you don't have to manage two separate windows. So you get your whole dialer on a single window with your CRM as well. So eventually on this page you are on your CRM and as well you are getting your dialer functionalities on top of the screen so yeah let me just show you the demonstration of how dialer works uh, right when I click on access dialer right all you have to do now is select the campaign and that's it so you don't have to log in uh, separately because uh, when you log into CRM uh, the CRM basically automatically logs you in, into the dialer as well so in this case you are already logged in into the dialer and all you have to do is select the campaign in this scenario I'll just select the Alison campaign and press submit right I'm in now so on top you get all the dialer buttons like manual dial start stop transfer call power call hang up and log out functionality um, the thing you see here is the user demo is a user and Alison is a campaign so yeah, that's the de demo user logged into the Alison campaign. Now, let me just quickly show you the manual dial functionality first. So when I click on manual dialer, I'll just answer this call and I'll be in the conference. Right, I'll just try to paste the number. Okay, so that's the number I'll be dialing. Press dial. Cool. So as you can see, I've just dialed that number and it's live I can see the live call here that's the status live call and the lead that or the number that belongs to this lead is already opened up in the CRM as well so as you can see dialer is different here on top and that's the CRM and dialer and CRM communicates with each other as well so that's the whole functionality which we have developed at Alison Tech so yeah um, that's the live call it has been answered um, yeah and that's the lead details of that number uh, the next feature I can show you is the transfer call so when I click on transfer call here I get list of options so that's like whole lot of options like dial external number or maybe transfer this call to an external number uh, the other option you get is internal transfer so if you want to transfer this call to any other internal group then you can transfer make an internal transfer as well uh, if you want to transfer this call directly to an agent you can select the agent from this list here so you can like select particular agent and you can transfer this call to that particular agent uh, yeah you get a few other options here like blind transfer whereby you can just transfer the call straight away and it will hang up the channel and you get other options as well like dial with customer park customer dial and internal transfer as well and on top of that you get three disconnection options like leave three way call so if you want to leave the call and let the other two talk to each other then you can use this option there hang up transfer line or hang up both the lines as well right so yeah so that's transfer basically uh, let me show you something else uh, power call yeah so okay, hold on okay that call is dead now because I think the channel got disconnected I'm just going to hang up that call yep okay call has been disconnected I'm going to stop it now when I click on stop it's asking me for the post code like why do you want to stop the calling process so in this case if I say I just want to go on the lunch so I can say I'm going on a lunch break so by double clicking on lunch break I select my postcode so as you can see it shows the status here that 
this agent is on lunch right now so yeah let me just make the same call let me start the same call again okay it's live now and this time I want to show the park call functionality so when I click on park call basically uh, I'll park the call that's it I mean if we play the music and your client or your customer will hear that music and that's it and if I want to grab that call all I have to do is click the grab call button and that's it my call has been connected again and got disconnected because I think we are having some issues with our VoIP at the moment so bear with me please I'm just going to hang up the call cool I'm just going to press stop and again if I'm on, I would say just T break and that's it right so what I've shown you so far is like how to make a manual dial uh, like dial the number manually uh, you can transfer the call as well and you can park the call as well uh, there is one more thing which I want to show you is that any agent can place a call straight away from the CRM as well so as you can see this lead over here uh, the Bruce Wayne lead uh, you will see the call button here as well so if I press this call button it will dial the number out now it's asking like do you want to make a direct call or do you want to call with ISD code I'll say direct call basically just dial the number as it is and that's it I'll just press the direct call and yep it's live now so yeah you can dial the number out from the CRM as well so that's click to call basically agent does not have to dial the number manually all they have to do is click on the call button which is in the CRM and that will dial the number out via the widget so that way we keep all the call records call history recordings and everything so you get all the all the features and functionalities in the dial dial sheet dialer again that functionality has been custom built by Alison Tech um, yeah so that's click to call so where you can call from the CRM via the widget uh, I'm just going to hang up this call right one more thing I want to mention here is we do not uh, at the moment uh, that's that was client requirement like we do not show the disposition screen because uh, what we do right now is we auto set the disposition um, so yeah whenever I hang up the call uh, it automatically dispose it with the custom specified or client specified disposition now okay while I was talking to you uh, I didn't press the stop button so it was already in the start mode uh, that means a system or the dialer has already dialed the number from this Allison campaign so it's automated dialing and it has automatically dialed the number out as you can see it's already the live call and yeah it has dialed the same number and the same lead has been opened as well so that was one of the other feature like automated dialing whereby you don't have to press uh, sorry you don't have to you know manually dial the numbers it will just dial the number out random number out from the list or yeah in this campaign so that's that I'm just going to hang up the call cool see it's in a start mode so that means it, this will dial another number from this Allison campaign I'm just waiting uh, yeah and it's live so again that's an automated dialing outbound calling and it has dialed the number from the list which has been selected in this Allison campaign it's a live call again I can transfer the call I can click on transfer call I get list of options where I can transfer to external number internal transfer agent transfer and I can park the call as well I can grab the call or I can hang up the call I'm just going to hang up this call auto dispose which has already been set and I'm going to stop reason for stopping I will say maybe I want to do a manual dial and that's it so yeah uh, that's there and click to call as well so yeah that's about it so that's the uh, I would say widget dialer widget functionality which has been custom built by Alison Tech and which has been integrated 
with third party CRM like the phone support CRM which is custom built by them and we have already implemented click to call functionality as well for them uh, so yeah that's about it thanks for watching